Hi everyone, today we are diving deep into one of Thailand's most unique ecosystems. This environment is of course the Nipapong mangrove. It's the last stronghold for the Betamaha Chayensis. If you watched la the last video about the Beta documentary, you might have seen Sutipong in the Mahashai uh, segment where he talked about how endangered it is and how it is disappearing. So we are here with him again and we're going to get into the mangrove forest in Samut Sakon where we're going to look for the Beta Mahashayensis. Now, last time it was the dry season, this year is the rainy season. So there's a lot more water, so it'll be a lot more difficult to find them. Currently in the middle of the mangrove and oh my God, is it sweaty. So hot, it's about 38 degrees outside, but under these, under these trees is even worse. And it's very wet because it's rainy season. So you have to watch out every step. <laughs> And as you can see, there's also leeches, so you have to be very careful. You have to watch your step, you have to watch out for leeches. And yeah, because it's so wet, the betas could be anywhere. So it's been very difficult to, to find any really. In the, in the dry season, like last year, they are confined to a little bit of water. So it's very easy to find them because they can't go anywhere else. But right now, the whole mangrove is soaking wet. So they can just swim anywhere they want and that makes it more difficult but it also goes to show that as soon as the rainy season comes the, the mangrove gets flooded and they have loads of space they could be anywhere and and they will stay like that for a couple of months it's really just three four months of the year that it's very dry and they have nowhere to go My girlfriend is helping us today. How are you feeling? You enjoying this? No comment. No comment. <laughs> My girlfriend doesn't really like coming, coming to these kind of places, but she's still kind enough to help me with this project, help me carry some of the equipment. And I'm sure she's not enjoying this. Hi, man. Here, our friend Suti Pong has found one. Oh, there, there. And there you go, that's uh, Puying, Pushar? Puying. Female. Female. Yeah, here's a female, Beta Mahashayensis. And as you can see, it's rainy season, so the whole mangrove forest is flooded. So they could be anywhere. So we'll be moving to the next location. This one is too flooded, it makes it very difficult to find any better. So as you saw, this is a very challenging environment, very hot, very wet, full of mosquitoes and yeah, not the best environment to film in, not the easiest. So the Beta Mahashayensis exists in the Nipapong mangroves of three or four different provinces. I can't remember the names exactly. I'll put them over the video. And yeah, essentially couldn't find much here. Um, it's not just that they are endangered, which makes them rare, obviously, but they are also very elusive animals. Uh, and yeah, we need to use the basket to, to scoop through the water to see if they're even here. But when we film them, we want to keep them undisturbed. And the only way for that is to find a little puddle that's, that's got some Mahashayensis in it. But for now, just to make sure that there is something in here, we're using the basket, scooping through the water to see if we can find any specimens at all. So we're back in the car. We're gonna move on to another location. And boy, is it hot today. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's the problem with coming here in the summer. Location number two, and this was a quick one. Uh, we got here, it's not looking good, there's nothing. If you've been subscribed, you see my videos, you might, you might think, oh, that, that's not that hard to film. But it takes, it takes days. You might not even find any today. So yeah, moving on to location number three now. This location is completely flooded. You wouldn't, they are there, but you wouldn't be able to find them or film them. So, we have to move on to the next location. As I said, it's not as easy as it looks. Three locations, nothing. Off to location number four. It might actually take a couple of days till we get the shots. I mean, it's my first time driving in Bangkok. It's, it's something, it's something. Just going slowly, trying to stay safe. And yeah, hopefully we'll find some better Mahashayensis today. But 
we might have to we might have to try another day okay location number four i think we have a bit of a walk ahead fingers crossed we find them this time I'm walking on the train tracks i'm absolutely drenching in sweat right now there's a reason there's a reason why this is the low season in the summer it's just so hot it's almost unbearable if you want to do any kind of like outdoors activity just uh, just painful so you have the nipper palm mangroves there and on this side you have like a regular mangrove and just down there it's the coast Location four, also a failure. <laughs> I said this wouldn't be easy, so on to location five. So if you can't do it now, it's August. We'll try again in September. September, it's the end of the rainy season. So it will stop raining, but I don't know how quick, how quick the water levels will go down. So if they do go down enough, then I suppose you could come back in September but nothing is guaranteed at the moment. On to the fifth location and it turns out it doesn't exist anymore, so <laughs> on to the sixth. But it just goes to show how bad the deforestation is here. Obviously this area is near Bangkok, is being developed and all the Nipapal mangroves are being taken down. Not all, but most of them really. Completely stuck. Um, we are now on the sixth location. It's less flooded, so maybe you'll find something. I think this is location number seven. Let's see. We have just found a little baby. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Location seven was also a huge failure. We did see some fish, we saw some killifish, and we saw one baby better. I got a little clip of that on my phone. Uh, it's so hot, I can't be bothered to carry my gear anymore. But I had to come back to the car and get some AC. But we have one more location for today before sunset. If we find it, if we find them there, great. If we don't, I'm thinking to postpone this project to September. Uh, I'll keep it all in one video anyways. And in September, there should be less rain. And the water levels will go down. OK, 
Okay, location number seven or eight. I don't know. I lost count. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if there's anything in here. So we have just found the beginning of a nest. So if you can see there on the right side, there's a little, a little bubble nest starting to happen. So if we were to get the camera down here, maybe, maybe we'll be able to film it. Okay, I've just found a bigger nest. Look at this. Yeah, right there, there's a bigger nest. Okay, so this was the last location of the day. We did find the nest and we did find the male bat in there that I didn't manage to record. As soon as I put my lens through the water, it got spooked. But because it was a nest, I'm sure it would come back. But it's getting really dark, it's gonna rain. Um, so we don't have the time to wait. So I have to drive back two hours for this. So um, I'll decide if I come again this week or in a month from now when it's drier. But I'm sure we'll get one at some point and we're gonna get some footage that's very different from anything that you've ever seen, but for now, for now we got to wait. Okay guys, so it's actually been a month since the last clip. Uh, we were hoping the rain would slow down and we could go ahead and film the Beta Mahashayensis, but actually it's only rained more and more and more. There's been loads of flooding in Thailand uh, and yeah, intense rains, so today, I'm back, today I'm back at the Nipa Palm mangroves because it's my last week here and it's much worse than last time. So the water level is even further up. All the mangrove is like submerged and it's very unlikely that we'll find better Mahashensis today, but we'll keep looking. So this is where we were walking last time. Right now it's completely flooded. The whole floor is covered in water and floating plants. And I'm sure the betas are still there, but it'd be very difficult to film them or find them. Uh, I've seen a gourami swimming around uh, and killifish, so there's definitely fish around. I think our guide, Suti Pong, just found one. Maybe a nest. It's very deep, deep mud in here. Let's see. I don't know if you can see it there. On the crevice of this nipper palm, here is a better Mahashayansi's nest. So yeah, they like to nest on the crevices of these palm trees. Here you have a male better Mahashayansis that was in this water over here. Um, I want to film it swimming around naturally, so I'm not gonna use this one in the video. Uh, yeah, it's still cool to see they, they are definitely here. Everything is flooded, we're stuck in traffic, people cannot move. The rain won't stop, all the mangroves are flooded. There's no way I can film the better Mahashai. Uh, and this is my last week in Bangkok, it's looking like rain every day. So I'll have to continue this video next year during the dry season when I come back. But I'll make sure to make all of this in one video. So this might be a long one, but I think it'll be better to make it all one video. So you actually see some nice shots of better Mahashai because I know that's why you opened this video, that's why you clicked on that thumbnail. So I'll see you back in a couple months in the dry season with sunny weather. Okay guys, it's been two months since you last saw me. It's December now, it's the dry season, no more rain, no more flooding. So we're gonna go back to the Nipah Palm mangrove, it's right behind me. And we're gonna see if we can finally find this elusive and endangered Betamahashayensis. I have a feeling today, is the day we finally get the shot. I mean, this place, even, even in the winter, is so difficult to navigate. It's definitely much cooler right now, which is great. Uh, but still, there's loads of mosquitoes and you never know, there could be a snake in here, who knows? Hopefully not. But I'm very tempted to just leave it Leave the camera down here. Just wait for a few hours and see what happens. Instead of chasing them around, maybe we will get something that way. All right, guys, it's now about 5 p.m. Spent the whole day looking. I probably look a bit tired because honestly, it was not easy. But eventually, Sutipong found 
a male Marachensis with a nest, a bubble nest. This is the first ever footage of beta Marachensis underwater when in the wild. There's not been any manipulations here, it's just stick the camera next to the nest and you can see it doing what it does naturally. There is a light in the video, uh, it's very dark here so I had to put a light next to it. But yeah, finally after many days, I mean something that took two months, we did get the shots and I'll show you now what it looks like and I hope you enjoyed this adventure.